Hello friends, we are here in Hoima, Uganda. This is West Uganda. And I'm sitting here with uh, David. He's a pastor and my dear friend Edward. He has been my friend for 24 years. It was 1987 that I came the first time to Uganda. The reason we have this interview is particularly this man, David Rutu. And, uh, you know, David is a miracle man. Uh, he was dying with AIDS. It was 20 years ago? Yes. Yeah. So this was 91, I suppose. So in 91, I was in Kampala in a house where I saw David sitting, and he, he looked very weak. He, he seems to be depressed and sick. And I felt prompted by the Spirit of God to ask him what is wrong with him. And he told me he was having AIDS and he was dying. And uh, I told him straight in the face that, uh, you know, how did you got this disease? And he told, honestly, he was, uh, he was having an affair with several women. That's how he had contracted the disease. And I didn't put butter on his head. I just told him in the face that the wages of sin is dead. But the grace of God is eternal life. And uh, David heard me and he believed. We had a crusade going on. And he did come to the crusade every night for five nights in a row. And uh, if a man ever got saved, David got saved. Every night he received the prayer of salvation. And he turned to Christ. He repented from every known sin and immorality. And uh, he also came forward for a prayer. And truthfully, I have to confess that I myself, I didn't have the faith for that miracle. In, in fact, uh, I had the opinion that at least this man is in peace with God now. He, when he dies, he may go to heaven. But we prayed, and then God started to work miracles in his life. He, he, his fever stopped, his pains stopped, his diarrhea stopped, his headaches disappeared. He got strong. And so finally his sister told him, why don't you go to the hospital and check your blood? It was on checking and double checking that the medical doctors discovered that it was gone yeah, from his yeah, body. Yeah. That's the story as far as I know it. But the amazing thing is more than this because, you know, he used to live in a small village called Bomba. That is not too far from yeah. you, Kampala, is it? Yeah. And he went back to his village just like the, the man of Gadarin who was delivered from evil spirits. And he began to share his testimony with the villagers who knew him as a man of immorality. And uh, they, they heard his testimony and saw the change. And many people believed in Jesus because of David's testimony. And overnight he was pushed to be a pastor. They For said, them. yeah, they yeah. told him, David, uh, now you are the first believer in our village. Tell us what should we do. And uh, he became a pastor overnight, although not very well trained. It was after one year I came back to Uganda and I was introduced. I even didn't recognize David. The amazing thing is that I felt so prompted by the Spirit of God to support him. I already built a small church. And I supported the, the, the sheets, the iron sheets, to roof your church. Yeah. And today, uh, David is having six churches in, in Gomba and the area where he lives. And uh, so this is an amazing testimony of the grace of God. Mm. 